You know what's funny? What's really funny to me? Big K. Jersey his third round. Where's Big K from? Where is he from? Virginia? I have no idea. Norfolk? Where are you from, Big K? Where is he from? I need to know. Look it up. Let's, we're going to Google where Big K is from right now. I think he's from Norfolk. I don't know why. I don't know if I'm saying it right. Norfolk. Big, does, he have, does Big K have, does Big K have a Wikipedia? There's a birth tracker. Norfolk, I was right. Big K, uh, Virginian. He Virginia his third. People say maybe he choked, blah, 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 blah. Bro, the guy, he went like, he went like a half a round. He went a half a round and was like, Norfolk. You know what I'm saying? If I'm gonna, we gotta keep that, keep that same, shut up, okay? Twerk, B Big K, you tripping, bro. You are literally tripping. You know why I'm mad at you, Big K? Because you were fired, bro. You had some good fire stuff, but you were stumbling and bumbling throughout this battle. You didn't seem confident. You were like a mix of Matt Hoffa and New Jersey twerk. You were stumbling and bumbling like Matt Hoffa, and then you like quit. Did you choke? Did you quit? I don't know. But you went short and you stopped, so I don't know. I don't know, and I don't care. Iron Solomon, 3-0. Iron Solomon was fire in this battle, guys. Iron Solomon was fire. What up, though? What's your boy DM me? I don't know. That was a, it was a cold, cold, cold intro. I know, I know, I know. I didn't even do. Hold on, hold on. You didn't DM me wait a whole what hour, up, a whole hour. It started with the penis. <laughs> Y'all ain't ready for this one. They ain't ready. DM me and Branzo. For what? Yo, what up, though? It's your boy DM me. Our boys, let's get in this. The Grand Prix Entertainment. It's over. It's over. It's done. Let's talk about it, right? First watch, half a watch. I watched a little bit. I was at work when it initially started. I, I got into my car during the beginning of the MOOC and the verb third round. Takes me a half hour to get home, and the round was still going on by the time I got home. One round was, was still happening. All right, you know, my last bond, we talked about a couple of battles, so we'll work our way backwards. We'll work our way backwards. All right, let's finish this off first. We'll, we'll backward, we'll start in the middle, then go backwards and come on in. Big K, Iron Solomon. Iron Solomon continues to prove why he is in the Mount Rushmore talk. You can't take the fact, that, you can't take away that he's a legend. You can never take the fact that Iron Solomon is a legend. If you don't say he's a legend, then just stop watching battle rap because you're clueless. You're never gonna figure out. You're never gonna figure this out if you don't think Iron Solomon's legend. Now, can he be starting? To, he can start to be talked about in the greatest ever conversation. The GOAT. Why not? This guy has been amazing for the last two solid years. Started off his career amazing. Had a hiccup. Bad hiccup. An extremely bad hiccup. Took a hiatus and he's back and he's been killing it. Back to back, you guys forgot. Back to back, JC, Big K, gone. Not well, JC wasn't gone, but Big K, gone. I feel like he beat JC. Don't at me. Or at me. No big deal. I'm just playing. I hear people say that. Don't at me. Don't at me. It's a little bit overplayed. Kind of like, you know. All right, never mind. Let's not, let's not get into that. It's not a big deal. <sighs> big K, I don't know what to tell you anymore. That's, you, that's your fourth loss. There's a little bit of karma going on, huh? Don't you find it interesting? Don't you find it interesting that the two guys who have so much animosity towards the fans, who talk to the, the, the battle rap fans like they're trash, have been having a problem with choking and, and, and quitting lately? Hmm, hmm. Big K, you didn't choke against t -Tab, but all your rounds were like under three minutes. They were all like, well, I think two of your rounds were literally two minutes long. Is that a choke? Is that a quit? Just because you go so short, did you only write two minutes? What are we doing here? What are we really doing here? Twerk tells his fans to suck it. Oh, he only said, um, uh, he said his real true fans. Now he's not talking to them. That's the stupid, anyone who says that to me, again, just stop talking. Cut your tongue off. Because when, when, when you say, oh, my true fans, I'm not talking to you. What is a true fan, bro? 
a, a true fan is someone who's going to lie to you all the time and tell you you're the best. That's what Big K actually said in that press conference. He's like, oh, why y'all got a problem, man? Why y'all got a problem? You don't need to tell me uh, I did bad, da, 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 da. Like, 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 shut up, Big K. All right? And, 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 and you know, that, that's not how this works, bro. That's not how it works. If you don't understand how it works and you're too sensitive to deal with it, all right, then get out of the public eye. Get out of the public eye. It's not for you. It's not for everybody. This is not for everybody. So I suggest you just leave if you can't handle it. If you can't handle the truth. Q Jack Nicholson. But um, Iron Solomon continues to prove why he's one of the greatest of all time. All right, Iron Solomon, 3-0 on a first watch. Will I give Big K a round afterwards? I don't think so, but it's possible. All right, let's go to the end of the, of the, of the event. Uh, Ill Will, Ill Will versus Big T. No, 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 no. Battle truth. <laughs> no, I'm not doing this. I'm not doing this. I told you I wasn't, I wasn't interested in this battle before it happened. I watched the battle while it was happening. I wasn't interested while it was happening. The crowd was dead. They went last. They went, in the, they went last. No crowd reaction. Dead crowd. Dead bars. Big T might have had a decent third round. He was saying some stuff. Ill Will was okay. I don't care. I just don't care. Ill Will, 2-1. I'll give Ill Will the second and the third. You can Big T, you can have the first. Congratulations. You guys, you guys main evented the card. You, you, you technically main evented the card. All right, you're the last to go on. You're the main event, right? Right, that works? No, not really. Not really. All right. So just whatever, whatever. Big T, I'm, I don't know, man. I'm sorry, bro. I'm sorry, bro. You're, you're, you know, you're one of the guys, man, back in the day. You were on total slaughter. You know, you, I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. But you should have retired after Rome ended your life in that – Round, that third round, the infamous third round that made John Real lose weight. He's texting me. Here we go. I hate group text messages. I hate it. it can, you can never escape them. You can delete it and they keep bringing you back and you got to block everybody that keeps putting you in it. Then I got to block people I don't want to block because they don't respect that group text messages are trash. Anyways, what was I talking about? I have no idea what was it happening. See what I'm saying? Distractions are the worst. What was I talking about? Anyways, it doesn't matter. All right, so Danny Myers. Danny Myers uh, versus, versus Past Day. Danny Myers versus Past Day is fire. Fire battle. One of my most favorite battles of the night. This battle went exactly as I, I, I thought it was going to go. Past Day was going to joke. He's going to clown Danny Myers with a little bit of aggression. He was going to have a round. Or that real talk and blah, 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 blah. And I, you know, and that's exactly what he did. It's exactly what I thought he was going to do. It's exactly what he did. Danny Myers does what Danny Myers does. Bar God. He's always been the bar God. He does what he does. And he was fire. This is a very close battle, bro. I think it's a 2-1, debatable. Y'all, Pat Stay's one of them dudes, bro. Danny Myers is one of them dudes. There's no doubt about it. You can't deny it, all right? This is one of my most favorite battles of the night. I got it 2-1. I edited it to Danny because I'm a little Danny biased. I'm a little Danny biased. That's fine. But Past Day might have won this battle. But I don't know, man. I don't know where the it's, – it's I tweeted this was a preference battle. It's a preference battle. Do you like the jokes more or do you like the bars more? All right? Whatever you prefer, that's what you like. But um, I think they both came through. To me, it was, it's up there for battle of the night. Shout out to Danny. Shout out to Past Day. Y'all Y'all came through. Y'all represented. And that's what's up. That's what's up with y'all, man. But all right, so all that happened. Iron Solomon and Big K happened. Um, what was next? Uh, Murder Mook. Murder Mook and Aver. We kind of talked about it already in my last blog. Um, you know, the first two rounds I had to watch at work, so I, I, I heard everything. I had the headphones in. I didn't see it all, like, as far as visually, but I heard it all, most of it at least, like 90% of it. Um, I had a verb winning the first two rounds. I'm sorry, man, Mook. Didn't impress me in those two rounds, man. Maybe there's some stuff that was slept on that I don't that we'll that we'll see on the playback. I'll probably go watch it when the VOD comes back on tonight, and I'll, I'll, I'll rewatch it. But um, Verb was aggressive. Verb was on fire. Verb, where have you been, Verb? You make me mad, Verb. This is what I don't like about you, Verb. All right, why, why, why do you have to battle Mook for this to happen? Why, why, why do you have to? Why do you battlers gotta be all this so motivated? I got to be just motivated, motivation, motivated. 
All right, obviously not money. So you're motivated well, by your opponent sometimes, but not all the time. I don't know what it is. All right, you still talk. You still took all these losses to me, bro. All right, you haven't showed this type of aggression in in, in like a couple of years. Where you been? But you showed up. Fine, whatever. Great. Congratulations, Verb. I had Mook going into this battle three yo. I uh, I was wrong. I'm a man. I will always admit when I'm wrong. You got crazy people online. Yeah, you Tech Nine. You low life thug Tech Nine. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. But Tech Nine's crazy. He's either crazy or he's trolling. He has Mook two one. Um, I've seen a couple others have Mook two one. They're supposedly giving him round two and three. I'm thinking. Uh, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, okay. Mook, Mook whacked for 20 minutes in round three. My entire drive home, Mook rapped. He rapped an equivalent of about five songs in one round. He rapped five rounds in one round. How do you judge that? How? He had some good stuff in there, but out of the five rounds, he might have had two rounds that were good in the third round. Like, you know what I mean? Like, so how, what am I supposed to do with that? What am I really supposed to do with that? All right? This wasn't a round. This wasn't a loaded Lux third round against Calico. It wasn't at that level at all. It was close. So what do you want me to do with this round? I don't know. It's a tough one to deal with. Verbs third was good too, man. I don't know. I don't know, man. It's ridiculous, right? It's ridiculous. You really, some of y'all, y'all really giving Mook that third? Really? I mean, that second? Forget the third. Just forget the third. Forget the third at all. Like, I don't care about the third. The third is ridiculous. It's 45 minutes long. It's the longest third round in battle rap history. For real. The longest third round in battle rap history. The longest round, period, in battle rap history. So what are we doing? Let's, let's all go back and watch that second again, I guess. It seems like anonymous that the first goes to Verb. I think, I think, I think I've seen some people say he even got that round, which they're giving him. Now, yeah, I'll give him move 3 0, which y'all out of your damn minds. I don't know what you're talking about. What are you talking about, Willis? What you talking about, Willis? All right. But it seems that it seems like the consistency in a fantasy draft. Oh, God. We'll just take this guy. He looks good to me. Um, verb, Verb. You know, he he showed up. He showed up. His second. I, we got We all got to go back and watch the second, I guess. But I you know. I don't know, man. Mook to me, like you know, it's interesting. So last time I wanted to get in my Mook, my Mook, my Mook. I wanted to get in my Mook feeling. I want to get hyped up. Mook, murder, Mook. So I, I ended up watching Mook versus Young Hot, um, Mook versus Party Artie, You know, and uh, um, and I watched Mook and Loaded Lux Part Two on the Total Slaughter. So I have a feeling that because I watched all that, and Mook and Lux was the last one I actually watched. That I kind of got burnt out out of Mook at yesterday. And so when I watched him today, I, he was annoying me. He was annoying me. It just, he just seemed a little bit, he seemed dated. Uh, I'm sure there was stuff that I missed because obviously I didn't, I, I could have, I wasn't in a comfortable position to watch this. But, you know, I, I'm reading online, everybody seems to say that the same uh, consensus that I have. All right. There's only a few of y'all that don't, but the, the, the 90 seems like 90% consensus says, that, you know, how I heard, what I heard when I was at work is the same thing that's actually a little bit down. Burb won this battle clearly, apparently. Clearly. Is it 2-1? Is it 3-0? Oh, is like the debate right now. I don't know. Only, only crazy people are saying Mook, Mook won this battle. But if you all got Mook winning this battle, congratulations. You know, shout out to y'all. Shout out to y'all. I don't understand what y'all been smoking. But I wasn't impressed, man. So shout out to a Verb. You proved me wrong. You proved a hell of a lot of people wrong. It's a big upset, in my opinion. This was a, and this was an upset. Because uh, Mook, you know, Mook, Mook is Mook, right? Right. This, this. What does this do to Mook's legacy? Like, like, what does it really do? It, it's interesting. You can't say he hasn't won a round and uh, he hasn't lost a round in eleven rounds like they used to say. You can't say that no more, right? He lost. He lost maybe three in a row here. You know, if he battles again, imagine him getting three. Then he hasn't won a round in six rounds. That could be a, a thing. That could be crazy. That could get really, really crazy. But I don't know. I don't know. So. Um, you know, we're going to have to see how this, uh, how Mook's legacy, you know, I, it's going to be, you know, probably more of the same. People who rock with Mook are going to say he's still a GOAT. People who don't, you know, they're just going to use this as another reason uh, to, to downplay his, his career and his legacy. He had that uh, su put su suicide for a Sue Surf that's been, that was used by Hollow and so many others. Like that suicide line that should, like, uh, come on, Mook, you have never heard that? You never, like, that, that, was a, that was a very old line that he should have known that, not to use. 
um, push suicide has been played out to death. I think Hollow started it, maybe, um, unless he got it from someone. I don't remember, but, you know, I watch more Hollow battles than anything, so that's the first time I heard it, but I could be wrong. Don't shoot me if I'm wrong, but whatever. Uh, it's been said plenty of times where Remove should have heard it and not used it, but there were a lot of outdated bars, a lot of light things like that. His delivery, you know, a little bit slow. It takes a long time to get to the point. All right, which I'm usually not that mad about, but it, I, it just wasn't hitting here. And Bert, where you been? Anyways, well, enough of that. Bert, Bert, Bert. You know, it'd be nice if you gave us like 90% of this effort all the time, you know, and then we wouldn't have to, we wouldn't have this argument. You know, you would be the GOAT. But you lose the past, you, we know who you lost, so we're not going to get into it. So, by the way, we on Twitter, shout out to, to, to my men's on Twitter, my, my, my piece on Twitter. We actually, we, we realized something. We realized something. So, you got, you got Pat Day, Sharon beats Bert. Serious Jones beats past day and, uh, uh, you know, allegedly beats Sharon, you know, allegedly. Um, and then Oh Solo um, beats Serious Jones. So Oh Solo's the GOAT. Oh Solo is literally the GOAT. We figured it out. Sorry, Hollow. Oh Solo's the GOAT. I think that's right. All right. And then you got, you know, to, to, to finish it off, actually, we actually did talk about this earlier. If you didn't catch my other blog, if you did, tune on here if you want. But, um, uh, just, just to quickly uh, go over it again, um, B dot Swave Seva. I got B dot two one. I think Swave Seva could have took this battle. He had the right angles to take it. He he was the guy to do it too. Swave Seva, you could have really put a dent into what B dot was saying here, but you kind of dropped the ball. You said some good, clever stuff that helped. That 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 really was fire. But you know, B dot is crazy to me. B dot. Could be one of the top gunners. He could be. He he is. He's like, come on, man, come on, man. Like B dot another sensational third round. Um, I didn't. I didn't. I don't. I mean, he, he did harp on the whole money backs thing a little bit too long, but not maybe not too too long. That's where I think you know Swave Seven could have got him, but didn't really like you know he didn't put it all together right and, and able to you know dissect the B dot the right way. But he and he had that chance. He had that chance. <clears throat> but I, I shout out to Swave Seven because he did a good job, man. He did a real good job. I thought his first couple of rounds were great. I think he, I think his last round was his weakest. Um, B dot, of course, you can't have a third, a, a weak third against B dot. That's not that's not gonna go over. That is never gonna go over. <coughs> B dot, shout out to you, bro. Um, you you've always you've been doing your thing since day one. You've never let down. You've never given us a bad performance. Every single battle you have come and gave it your all. You're the you're the model of what a battle rapper should be you danny myers battlers like that you know oddly both from the west coast right are exactly what battle rappers should always strive to be professional the one thing i don't like about b dot is he's always shaking his head i'm telling you b dot is vulnerable bro b dot is vulnerable you get someone in there who can really talk to b dot like really really talk to him and get under his skin b dot i'm telling you right now his composure is not the best he will lose his composure easily if someone can get under his skin. He, is, he shakes his head every single battle. Anytime an opponent says anything to him that he slightly doesn't think is um, uh, um, applicable to him, he starts shaking his head. Oh, you know, just shake. He just, he, he's, like, he's, a sh he's a head shaker. Be not your head shaker. I've noticed it since day one with you. You've always done this. You have always done this. And um, I don't know why I noticed it with you more than anybody else, but hey, 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 hey. B dot, you're still fire. You're still one of my favorites, obviously. And you, um, you beat Sway, bro. You beat Sway in another fire battle. So Sway seven B dot, Danny Myers past day. These are my two favorite battles. And uh, I'm gonna hold off judgment on this Mook and Verb battle until I watch it again, because that was such a long battle. All the circumstances, especially with me not being able to watch but only listen to the first two rounds, um, took uh, plays a lot of part to it. And then the, the epic uh, uh, monstrosity of that third round is just something that I'm just going to have to, uh, you know, build up the, the courage to actually listen to again because I know that. I mean, that is a long, long round. So let, let's, 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 I'm going to, I can't put it up there in a battle that I thought was great because it's just, there's too much. I need to watch that battle again. But time will tell with that battle, just like it does with every MOOC battle. All right. King Los, bro. King Los and Ed Ice. Let me tell y'all something, man. I disagreed with everybody yesterday who didn't, I, you know, I've been disagreeing. I, like, for instance, uh, 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 my man, John, John Real, um, he didn't like um, 
King Los's uh, press conference. He didn't. I don't think he liked King Los in the trailer, or that might have been Jay Legend who didn't like King Los in the trailer. Yeah, Jay Legend didn't like King Los in the trailer. He liked what he said about the ARP. That was it. John didn't like uh, King Los at the um, press conference. I disagreed with both of them. I love King Los in the trailer. I love King Los in the, in the press conference. All right. A smooth talking dude, man. He just my, my here's my thing with King Los. He looks so comfortable in his own skin. King Los looks comfortable in his own skin. I love that. I love that's like it, it, it personifies confidence. Just chill back. Nothing bothers me. I'm just chilling. I'm me. I'm coming into this world that I'm that y'all don't really know me from. from. And, I, and you know what? You're gonna put me against the king of the dot. First of all, you're gonna give me daylight. Right? You're going to give me daylight, and then you're not going to give me daylight. You're going to cancel daylight on me, and then you're going to give me the king of the dot champion. The wolf? On three weeks' notice, you're going to give me the wolf? Or whatever, a month's notice? I don't remember. It might have been longer. It doesn't matter. But, oh, my God. Here we go. Here we go. Who should I take in this stupid fantasy? Uh, We'll go with, um, we'll go with, uh, we'll go with uh, this guy. He looks good. Um, <laughs> Who cares? So, you give me the wolf, right? King Los, the wolf. First round, they, uh, King Lowe spit a lot of, I think, a lot of his daylight bars. I think he even said he was going to do that, which was interesting. I don't know. I don't really thought, like, it was good. If it was against daylight, I would have been like, all right, yeah, let's go. But I knew it wasn't. There was too many daylight bars, too many daylight bars. And not that, not, nothing was really the head ice. Head ice goes and he was okay. I don't really understand head ice half the time. Maybe I don't understand his lingo. I really don't know what the heck head ice be talking about. I'm sorry. Head ice is not for me, man. I just don't know what he be talking about. You know, another fire battler, I get it. But personally, I get why people love Head Ice. Me personally, I just don't understand him. <laughs> I don't. Um, I'll give Head Ice the first round just because uh, Los wasn't saying nothing to Head Ice. Uh, he, was, he was talking to Daylight in that first round. So by default, I give it to Head Ice. Head Ice uh, probably might have been his best round, actually, anyways. Right, second round, King Los fire. Complete fire, bro. This was his best round. This might have been the best, one of the best rounds of the night. As far as I'm concerned, all right, King Los is second. He was snapping. He looked comfortable up there. King Los, if he was continue to continue to battle and continue to battle, could be great. He had a freestyle at the beginning, a little rebuttal with the with the head ice shirt. Fire. He was gonna do more. But the crowd, somebody in the crowd was like, just get into your stuff. Don't do that because then it would have thrown him off probably. Um, I don't know if that was a good or a bad idea, but that's, he ended up doing that. So shout out to King Los, man. It's your fire, fire second round, man. You impressed me, bro. You really impressed me. You impressed the battle rap world. I know you did. You're getting a lot of love and praise online. I had ice. Honestly, I don't know what he was talking about again. Just not hitting for me. I'm not, I'm not, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, that's, I tried. I tried. I wanted you to win this battle. I did. Like, you know, industry rappers should be coming in beating battle rappers. It should never happen. But, you know, King Los didn't look like an industry rapper. King Los looked like a battle rapper. King Los brought up the fact that he was the one who told he who he was at Summer Madness too. Uh, encouraged Puppy to come. Encouraged Puppy to give uh, 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 um, T Rex the ten grand or put up the ten grand. You know he he's been he, he he's responsible for a lot of huge moments in battle rap. All right, he brought all that up. I thought that was fire the way he put it together. Um, and then the third round, King Los lost some steam. I'm still giving him that round because I still. Was not impressed with whatever Head Ice was saying. It's not. King Lowe's 2-1, man. Possible 3-0, but 2-1 for sure. 2-1 for sure. So, who are... Oh, is this, if this is the group text I met. Yep, yep. Oh, yeah, the, the group, the group, the group, the group, the group, the group. Shut up! So, fire, bro. I don't know, man. That, that, was, that, was, that was what's up, man. So, was there any more battles? I'm trying to think. Was there any more battles? Any more battles? Uh, let's go real quick. I don't even recall at this point if there were any more battles. Was there a battle before King Los? I mean, there was, but what was it? There was, but what was it is the question. Uh, how do I find out real quick without I don't have to waste everybody's time? Let's go to, let's go to, um, there it is. Rare Breeds. Let me, just, let me just look at the card real quick. Come on, man. Twitter's the worst right now. There it is. Uh, so we have B dot. Spanish Harlem. Oh, Spanish Harlem top 10. 
and oh, and then and then uh, I got I got I got Spanish black, Spanish J black, whatever it is. He he won he, he won oh top ten. That's a fact. Um, and then I got a uh, clean paper job 400 uh, battle clean to me was disappointing. This was another one hot rounder. This was a surprise battle. Clean was very disappointing to me. Uh, Ja was okay. Really don't have much to say about that battle, man. Um, I think I give it to Ja. I think clean did okay, but he, he didn't, he didn't, he didn't impress me at all. So that's basically it, man. You know, shout out, shout out. This was a, I, I know out of 10, I gave summer man a seven, a four, a four. I'm giving this a, a seven and a half and eight. I enjoyed this, man. I really enjoyed this. I enjoyed, um, I enjoyed uh, Swave and B Dot. I enjoyed Iron and, um, well, I enjoyed Iron. I enjoyed, uh, I enjoyed King Los. Um, I mean, Mook and Burb, Burb, I mean, that's still going to be a fire battle, regardless of Mook won or lost. That was a fire battle. I mean, regardless, still an epic battle. Um, I did not enjoy it, Will Big T. Uh, I enjoyed Swave and B Dot. And, uh, you know, it looks like that's pretty much it. So, I don't know. I'll, I'll go with a seven. I'll relax the seven and a half. We'll go with a seven. Um, depending on, you know, how, how much I enjoy this verb move battle when I go back and watch it. So, uh, yeah, it, it was definitely worth it, man. Definitely a lot better. Uh, we really, I mean, besides Big K uh, with the choking and the stumbling and the quitting, um, Pat Stay, when he was doing, I couldn't tell. Pat Stay was uh, a stuttering or stumbling when he was in the second round because the audio kept cutting in and out. It made it seem like he was, but it might have not been the case. It might have just been the audio issue. So watch that back on the replay. We see if Pat Stay was stumbling. Pat Stay seems to stumble a lot when he'd be talking that real talk because when he started that second round with Danny Myers, he started talking that real talk kind of like he did with Sirius Jones. Now with Sirius Jones, he started stumbling all around in that third round. This was the second round with Danny Myers. He's, I felt like he was doing it again, but it might have been the audio. And even if he was, he, he had caught it. He, it wasn't too bad. He had got, he had you know, got out of it and, and figured it out if it was a stumble and continued and, and had, a, had a really good round. So, I, oh, Danny Myers passed out. I really enjoyed that. But, okay, uh, champion of the night, if I had to give one, honestly, you know, I would say between Verb and B-Dot, bro, and um, I, would, I would edge B-Dot there. Uh, again, let me go back and watch this Verb battle. If Verb was that crazy, was he crazier than B-Dot? I don't know. But I'm going to go check that out. So, shout out to them. Man. If, 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 if there was no champion of the night. Is Jay Black was battling that, uh, you know, and his alias. You know, if anybody, if you guys didn't know, Jay Black's alias is Spanish Harlem. Um, that's what he raps. That's his rap name. So, um, you know, he, 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 he body bagged top 10, man. That was crazy. That was crazy. But, uh, yeah, that's what's up, man. That's what's up. So I don't know, man. Love you guys, man. All, all in all, really good event, man. Really good event. Appreciate y'all for rocking with me. The views have been up. Hit that like button, man. Get me almost to 3000 subscribers. Apparently I made it to the top 10 bloggers. Somebody tweeted me. I was like, DME has made it in the top 10. Top 10. You think I'm happy with top 10? Who's better than DME? Who? Exactly. Now, I'm playing. I'm playing. I'm honored. I'm humbled. I'm humbled. I'm honored. All right, that you guys would even consider me. Appreciate y'all, man. But uh, anytime. Any, anyways, guys, I love you guys. Till next time. Peace.